right, this week we're in the Golden City, San Francisco, California, and it's been about a month since the city came through, cleaned everything up for APEC and all the foreign dignitaries. So I thought I'd swing down, check it out, see how it still looks. We're also gonna check a bunch of homes and real estate too. San Francisco, let's check it out, here we go. You're so golden. So we got to talk about real estate prices for a second and everything I've heard over the past few years makes it sound like the San Francisco real estate market is crashing. No one wants to live here. The city is being abandoned. Maybe that's the case for commercial real estate. I have no idea about that. But when it comes to residential, I just pulled the numbers and the average property value is still $1.6 million. Prices have only dropped about 2%. When you've got 800,000 people living in a seven by seven mile radius, can take a lot more people moving out before you're going to get significant price decreases. Until then, I wouldn't count on some major crash. There you go, wishing, floating down, I wish it. It's like I'm always causing problems, causing. I didn't mean to put you through this. I could. We're going to sweep this under the carpet. So I've always loved San Francisco, the architecture, the Cable cars, Chinatown, the wharf. The last time I was here, which was, I don't know, about a year ago, give or take, it was a complete disaster. It was straight out of Mad Max. I walked a total of three blocks. And within those three blocks, there were four windows smashed into, two cars broken into, a homeless guy throwing his glass bottle into oncoming traffic. I left immediately. So when I saw the city was cleaning everything up, and fixing it all. I said, you know what, let's head to San Francisco, check it all out. Is it the San Francisco that I remember as a kid or is it back to a failed state? So far, so good. Let's keep checking it out though. Anyone who's been to San Francisco has probably been down Lombard Street. They say 1 million cars drive down this road per year. But what's interesting is, at least it is to me, that these houses cost four million bucks. Would you want to spend $4 million and live on quite possibly the busiest street in the United States? Not me. What about you guys? So is San Francisco back? Well, for now, yeah, seems to be that way. Let's hope it stays that way though, because this truly is one of the greatest cities in the entire world. Maybe we'll come back a year from now, do it all over again, check it out, see if it stays that way. But until the next video, hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Bye.